Hello friends, in the present video we will understand the concept of net present value method, introduction and solved problem as well as accept and reject rule, merits and demerits. All these concepts and uh, things we will discuss in this present video. Right, when you talk about the net present value method, it is one of the most important modern method of evaluating project proposals. In this method, what will happen? The cash inflows are considered with the time value of money. What is time value of money? That I have already uh, explained in one of my videos that will be posted in down the line and the link of that video will be shared in i button as well as in the description box. Right. So, we will take the cash inflows and those cash inflows will be multiplied with the time value of money factor with a given percentage of rate of return. Right. So, once we multiply that uh, cash inflows with given percentage of cost of capital, we will get the present value of cash inflow. So, that present value of cash inflows will be made summation and out of the total present value of cash inflows, the present value of cash outflows will be deducted and the resultant figure will be called as net present value. Right? So basically and precisely net present value is the difference between the present value of cash inflows minus present value of cash outflows. If the resultant figure is positive, it is called as positive NPV. If the resultant figure is negative, it is called as negative NPV. Right? So, NPV is refers to the difference between present value of cash inflows and present value of cash outflows. So, we will understand the accept and reject criterion or rule. In this case, we will find two types of uh, projects. One is independent project, another one is mutually exclusive project. In case of independent project, one project will be there and we need to decide whether to accept or reject. In that case, if the project NPV is positive, then it will be accepted. If it is negative, it will be rejected straight away. If mutually exclusive project, in this case, what will happen? Two independent projects will compete with each other. In such a case, which project is to be selected? then we have to decide based on which project gives us the highest NPV that project will be considered and decided and selected. Right? So, this is the basic criteria for accept and reject rule. So, we will take one, one illustration from uh, whereby we can understand the how to solve the problems. From the following information, calculate the net present value of two projects and suggest which of the two projects should be accepted at a discount rate of uh, the two in the sense discount rate will be given so we have project x and project y initial investment 20000 and 30000 estimated life 5 years each scrap value is 1000 and 2000 the profit before depreciation and after tax that is directly cash inflow so in the earlier video of uh, what we called payback period method there i have explained the concept of how to calculate cash inflows right so you can watch that video already it is posted i will sh share that link in the i button as well as in the description box so you can see the video and understand how to calculate cash inflows but directly in this question we have directly given the cash inflows right so project x and project y year 1 2 3 4 5 so we have given directly cash inflows 5000 10000 10000 3000 2000 like that we have given two project cash inflows whereas we have further provided with regards to the discounting factor at the rate of 10% that is year 1 to 6 we have provided right and factors even we have provided right 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so right so we will further proceed to the with the solution so question i have again taken for the quick uh, review sake so when you come to the solution we will draw a table for calculation of present values right so we have taken year so i have made a table year cash inflows project x project y present value table which is given that is 0 0.909826 how to calculate present values already I have explained in the TVM time value of money video, right? So, present value of cash inflows after multiplying with the uh, present value factor. So, the simply we will make the table like this. Then further you can proceed with you will write years 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव देन स्क्रैप वैल्यू एट द एंड ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल ईयर एट द एंड ऑफ द फिफ्थ ईयर यू आर गेटिंग सो प्रोजेक्ट एक्स कैश इन फ्लोस ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट एक्स डायरेक्टली वॉट एवर गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन दैट आई हैव रिटर्न देन प्रेजेंट वैल्यू फैक्टर टेबल वन एट द रेट ऑफ टेन परसेंट इन द टेबल आई हैव रिटर्न द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू फैक्टर्स दैट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन जीरो पॉइंट नाइन जीरो नाइन एट टू सिक्स सेवन फाइव वन सिक्स एट थ्री सिक्स टू वन राइट एज वेल एज फिफ्थ ईयर इवन वी आर गेटिंग द स्क्रैप फॉर दैट ऑल्सो आई हैव रिटर्न सिक्स टू वन राइट सो देन आई हैव मल्टीप्लाइड द प्रेज वॉट वी कॉल कैश इन फ्लोस विद द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू फैक्टर देन आई एम गेटिंग वॉट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश इन फ्लोस राइट सो ऑल दिस प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश इन फ्लोस मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फिफ्थ ईयर along with the cash inflow of the project we are even getting the scrap value that scrap value even will be considered and multiplied with the fifth year discounting factor that is 0.621 so when i multiplied with uh, present value that cash inflow with the present value factor i got present value of cash inflows then i made the summation of present value of cash inflows then that is total present value of cash inflows from that if you deduct our investment how much we have invested in the project that is 20000 the resultant figure 4227 this is our npv right so like this we need to calculate our npv so i will take the project uh, y even so cash inflows mm -hmm. i have taken right so cash in flows of project y 20000 10000 5000 3000 2000 2000 multiplied with the present value factor that is 0.909 then we will get resultant figure 2000 plus 2000 plus 2000 plus 2000 that is 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 2000 plus 2000 